didn't grow up with a dad. Not at all. Mm-hmm. So who's really in their feelings? Man. I, bro, I grew up with a, a father figure. We talked about the that nigga, last time. The like, nigga who told when I when, I didn't have to go to the streets for love. I knew I was that nigga in the, and from, from in my household. A lot of these niggas, they got to go brag about raping and doing that because they're not loved within. I know I'm the shit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. No, the, no, no, no. He's saying that right now. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Right now, right now, right now, now yeah, I'm messy. Yeah, 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 right. And it goes back to three months ago, he would text me and be like, we're the Shaq and Kobe of this shit. The, you can, you, the Jordan and Pippen. Mm-hmm. Jordan Pippen. Yeah. yeah. He was like, he was like, you can use my, he was like, we can use each other. Because the strategy I would use to help Charleston White, I would mention his name in other interviews so he can use it on his personal YouTube. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because let's say I interview... Shaq in and I interview and I mentioned Shaq and I mentioned Charleston White in a Shaq in my Shaq Shaquille O'Neal interview. Charleston White could bring that content to his personal YouTube. That's right. That's what we built it on. Yeah. He used to call me and say, "Man, we do we we the dynamic duo on YouTube and we the Boosie and Vlad. We the, so I'm so I'm thinking it's fine to mention his name because he can go on his YouTube and and cuss me out and cuss a Sauce Walker out and get a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought we was doing. Yeah. So I sat back and I was like. Did, did Sauce Walker hurt his feelings? Did it did uh like did Bad Man hurt his feelings pulling out the three hundred thousand? I he, I haven't talked to him so 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 Charleston White gets online and he mentions this kid event and uh uh he texts me on on February 9th and he called me twice on February 9th Wednesday February 9th at one forty four p.m. And I'm doing two interviews back to back. And I do my interviews via FaceTime, so I can't answer. So I think he thought I was spinning him. Uh, he was doing something that, in Fort Worth for the kids. And um, he was like, say, homie, I done told these people I can get you to come talk to the kids. We're launching our new youth program February 14th. So I'm confirming, are you still in? I text back two hours later. The interview took me two hours. So I text back at 3.05. I said, when and where? I'm there. He didn't answer. Wow. So I think within those two hours of me not responding, he mad. He right? got upset. Mm-hmm. But him, Mr. Quote unquote, never in my feelings, he got upset. Yeah. So that whole time, he has built up animosity towards me and I'm not even knowing. No so he didn't text me back on February 9th. So I go take my kids to Phoenix. Uh they had a basketball tournament. So here goes the text messages right here. Wow. Yeah. What, and I, what, what did I say? You said right there. You said uh, when and where. When right? and where. Did he text me back? No. No. So at all. Who's really in their feelings? Wow. wow. And then you still plugging in right there. Yeah. I see the plug so, so, so I see the plug. Uh, here go the text message. I don't I know see, if it. Uh, uh, give it. To, give it to her. Yeah. Give it to Miss Jamaica. She can make. See, I pull thing. receipts, bro. No, you really got to like, like at the what? end of the day, you got to, you got to text her. At 103, academics want want him for. I heard him say something about that. Yeah, academics want him for a podcast. He knows that because I text him that. Wow. I I was like, I said, academics want you on his podcast. They want your contact. No reply. This is all before the Sauce Walker shit. Wow. So who's really in their feelings? Man, man. I get it, bro. Like I said, I I understand, but you and I both know. Like I said, as far as Charleston, man, I I I heard you say in here that he hey, he's special. And I heard you right here in this seat. You say he's special, and and do you still feel that way? I like still he, feel he's and special. And I do too. Like like I don't feel no type thing, of way. Something. I don't. I'm not gonna go because I. I'm not gonna go back and forth on the YouTube and and belittle well, him. We do. I, I would never belittle him. Like he's a wonderful guy. Me and, me and him drove from New Orleans to Houston, and he did an interview with Big Facts. I listened to it the whole way. Yeah, yeah. I don't have no... To me, it's shocking because we built this off of keeping your name in the in the mix. Sauce, he, he said I'm being messy with Sauce. Sauce is not worried about you, bro. Mm-hmm. It's this content. I thought... He always screaming, it's just internet, it's entertainment. I know. Now this where you draw the line at? Charleston, you didn't reply back to me when I asked you about the event. You was in your feelings. I'm gonna be then, then he says, "I don't have a. Br- I don't. I was. I'm an only boy. I don't have. I didn't grow up with a brother, so I don't know how to resolute. My nigga, I grew up with a dad. I, I I was raised with my mom and dad, bro. I played sports where you learn leadership and team, being a team player. 
Wow. You see what I'm saying? Wow. You, he didn't grow up with a dad. Not at all. Mm-hmm. So who's really in their feelings? Man. I, bro, I grew up with a, da- a father figure. We talked about the that nigga, last time you The nigga who told, when I, when, I didn't have to go to the streets for love. I knew I was that nigga in the, in, from, from in my household. A lot of these niggas, they got to go brag about raping and doing that because they're not loved within. I know I'm the shit. Wow. You see what I'm saying? No, I get so, it. so who's really in their feelings? I, I, I understand, man, but I also know that this is something that it it wasn't it was a thing where when we done it, when we brought him on, it was more about just showing mm-hmm. love to the fact of all the kids and the stuff that he had accomplished, man. And and even to this day, even when people came on here and spoke on him, I never even put the put, hold on, I never even put that stuff out. No. I am not a going back and forth type dude. It, it's bro. shit that people tell me that I won't even I mention. Never, and it's uh, stuff that he said. Like you let that out yeah. with Dr. Rose. It's stuff that he said on my no. platform that I didn't put out. Because it's people that don't like him. Yeah, mm-hmm. that tell me shit that I, I would never, never exactly. no matter how mad I get. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.